On December 17th, Metaspace Real Estate Investment Trust went live on crypto trading platform PancakeSwap. Its ultimate business goal was to collect up premium metaverse real estate, build high-value virtual structures, and rent them out for profit. Just like a physical real estate trust, Metaspace, the first virtual real estate trust, aims to create a way for a group of people to hold shares in profitable real estate projects, but in the metaverse. Of course, you don't have to be part of a virtual real estate trust to become a landlord in the metaverse. You could simply buy your own lots in metaverse platforms and rent them back to users or companies, depending on where the properties are located. This has worked successfully for some people on platforms like Second Life, where most of the real estate listed on its marketplace is now for rent. Buying pieces of land in the virtual world is nothing new. For years, Games have proliferated among enthusiasts who could purchase virtual lands and build on them. What are the benefits of owning land in the metaverse? There are massive benefits to getting into the metaverse as a landlord right now, whether solo or as a shareholder in a larger company. Metaverse lands have become valuable assets just like physical lands, and people can make a lot of money if they choose wisely. You can earn income while your virtual land appreciates, Although platforms like the Sandbox haven't been around long enough to really get a good idea what appreciation may look like, Decentraland certainly has. Data from nonfungible.com on Decentraland sales goes back to 2017, when the native Decentraland currency, a token called MANA, was worth pennies on today's dollar. For example, a lot was sold for the $111.52 equivalent in MANA on December 17, 2017. That same lot on December 16, 2021, brought $13,703. If you'd bought that lot years ago and rented it out, that's a huge gain on your return. Premium locations on the metaverse are more valuable. Posh neighborhoods, luxurious penthouses, expensive villas, they're all ingredients that populate the virtual world. If a neighborhood becomes populated with luxurious brands, it's fair to think landowners will obtain great gains one day. Commercial tenants are easier to find than you might imagine. Landowners in Second Life constantly put their lots and completed properties up for rent, creating an income stream from a piece of virtual real estate that they acquired potentially deep in the past and continue to hold. They generally rent to individuals, but the beauty of the modern vision of the metaverse is that a lot of commercial players are also getting into the mix. Rather than just renting virtual houses and apartments, you could construct virtual malls, virtual offices, or virtual event space and rent that out. Suddenly, you're a commercial landlord to real commercial ventures that you can reach out and touch in the real world. Brands are getting into the metaverse big time, and they need the space to spread their messages to anyone who happens to be nearby. Input costs are low in comparison to real life. Even if you commissioned a virtual structure designer to help construct a metaverse property, the input cost is nothing compared to real estate in the real world. You don't have to deal with property inspections, there are no rules about what you can and can't build, and there are no laws about who can occupy what and for how long. That lot may cost you a bit, but you have zero physical building supplies to deal with, no waste, and no worrying about supply chain hiccups. It's all built of the same stuff pixels and electrons, and those can be manipulated as needed, even if there is a resin shortage and the color blue is out of stock until further notice. The metaverse may be in a phase where it's ripe for normal people to jump in and build a nest egg because of the huge companies that are headed there to try to make a fortune, but there's no promise with any given platform. This goes doubly if you choose a platform in its early stages. You may make a ton of money when it takes off, or you may lose everything when it doesn't catch on and the whole thing implodes. Unlike the real world, where you're still left with some dirt and rocks if no one wants to rent your property, the virtual world can literally disappear under your feet. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. World of Finance TV has videos every Monday and Friday.